Mind maze, psychological horror stories. That unearthly laughter echoed again, seeming to come from all around me in the suffocating dark. A cold sweat broke out across my body as sheer primal terror gripped my heart. I wasn't alone in here. Something was with me in the shadows, taking pleasure from my panic and despair. My breathing came in short ragged gasps now as my mind raced wildly. I had to find a way out. Had to escape this soul-chilling trap before that thing in the dark decided to make itself known. Stumbling forward with outstretched hands, I swept them desperately through the icy blackness, feeling along every inch of the confines of this nightmare room. As my frantic searching grew more frenzied, my fingers encountered not solid walls, but only empty void in every direction I turned. The boundaries of the room had given way to an endless abyssal emptiness stretching out forever on every side. I was lost, truly and hopelessly lost, adrift within the suffocating sea of darkness. That's when I felt the hot breath on the back of my neck, a sulfurous gust that stole the air from my burning lungs. An unnatural, foul stench assaulted my nostrils, carrying with it a sickening stench of rot and decay. As an unearthly chuckle sounded from just over my shoulder, icy talons bit deeply into my flesh. A wet, dragging tongue pulled itself slowly up the side of my face as that malicious laughter built to a deafening crescendo. That unearthly laughter echoed again, seeming to come from all around me in the suffocating dark. A cold sweat broke out across my body as sheer primal terror gripped my heart. I wasn't alone in here. Something was with me in the shadows, taking pleasure from my panic and despair. My breathing came in short, ragged gasps now as my mind raced wildly. I had to find a way out. Had to escape this soul-chilling trap before that thing in the dark decided to make itself known. Stumbling forward with outstretched hands, I swept them desperately through the icy blackness, feeling along every inch of the confines of this nightmare room. As my frantic searching grew more frenzied, my fingers encountered not solid walls but only empty void in every direction I turned. The boundaries of the room had given way to an endless abyssal emptiness stretching out forever on every side. I was lost, truly and hopelessly lost, adrift within the suffocating sea of darkness. That's when I felt the hot breath on the back of my neck, a sulfurous gust that stole the air from my burning lungs. An unnatural foul stench assaulted my nostrils carrying with it a sickening stench of rot and decay. As an unearthly chuckle sounded from just over my shoulder, icy talons bit deeply into my flesh. A wet, dragging tongue pulled itself slowly up the side of my face as that malicious laughter built to a deafening crescendo. That unholy laughter was all around me now, echoing out endlessly into the abyssal void that had swallowed the boundaries of sanity. The taloned grip dragging me backward was all that tethered me to existence as I felt my mind beginning to unravel, strings of cognition tearing apart one by one in the face of such eldritch horror. I was falling, plummeting into the darkness even as that blood-curdling cackle pursued me into the depths. Wind howled past my ears, yet I felt nothing, only an all-consuming cold deeper than the frozen vastness of outer space. How far would the plunge continue in this dark nightmare depths? Would I at last encounter some unnameable entity in the lightless bowels of infinity? Some nameless god or demon of the abyss? Time passed in an endless blur as my screaming mind spiraled further into the abyss. When at last awareness returned, it was to find myself resting upon a dizzying panorama far below, staring up at the sky alive with a multitude of alien stars and hues never seen on our world. Strange shapes writhed and undulated between those hellish constellations, forms defying understanding or description. As my gaze traced over the crags and contours of an utterly alien and incomprehensible landscape extending to the curve of an immense dark horizon in every direction, true madness took hold. I knew then that I'd fallen through some rent in the veil between realms and would remain lost in this eldritch other, where until the last vestige of my identity dissolved utterly into the maddening chaos, sanity be damned. Now the mind maze had truly claimed me for its own. How long have I wandered this blighted alien wasteland? This shattered panorama of a reality beyond the ken of mortal minds? Time has lost all meaning as my sanity continued leaking away incrementally with each crumbling dune and monstrous shadow glimpsed on the curve of the endless dark horizon. All has been reduced to a single driving instinct to find escape from this nightmare otherworld before the last remnants of identity are swallowed utterly by the maddening chaos. But in the madness have I not already become one with the chittering shadows, the dim abominations that sometimes seem to peer from the gloom, only to dissolve before the eyes can confirm their horror. 
through the ceaseless wail of a wind as deathly cold as the void between galaxies. I fancy at times I can hear faint echoes of a lost humanity. Could it be that others like myself have been cast into this eldritch realm, left to wander until the mind surrenders completely to the ravages of unnameable terrors? If so, not all souls here may be irredeemably inhuman. A light, a glimmering in the endless dark, perhaps a madness-born mirage, but one I cling to with the last flickering spark of hope. I stagger onward through a night that knows no dawn, cast inward now to depths where even demons fear to tread. Will I find fellow souls crying in the dark, or worse yet, the nameless gods of this unhallowed otherware revealed at last? The mind maze has but one outcome left to show. Through the formless eternities of that damnable night I staggered on, all was reduced to singular instinct to find the source of that faint, maddening light which had come to represent the last vestige of hope in this abysmal wasteland. Perhaps it was only a glamour cast by my own fading consciousness. No matter. To walk willingly into the abyss was preferable to enduring another moment in this maddening realm. At last, emerging from the howling dark, the landscape resolved into alien forms once more. Before me lay an immense chasm from whose infinite depths issued an unearthly greenish glow like bioluminescence from some nameless creatures inhabiting Phlegathon's deepest pit. I stumbled to the yawning edge and peered into the abyss, uncaring if the final descent might deliver me from this nightmare, or reveal nameless monstrosities reserved for Hell's lowest circle. There at the bottom, unfathomably far but dimly visible, was the source, floating orbs of lambent light, scores of them drifting lazily as if buoyed upon subterranean rivers of Stygian darkness. And within each globe, wavering silhouettes, were those shadowy limbs, unformed faces, the outlines of beings left unmade. A shrieking howl rent the darkness, shaking me to the core of my unraveling being. I knew with sudden lucid clarity that I had found not salvation, but the inhabitants of this unhallowed realm, and been located in turn. Turning with a sob, I cast myself from the precipice into the chasm's endless abyss, hoping only for swift oblivion to end the maddening descent through this mind maze without end. Beyond there was only the darkness, and those lambent orbs and their half-formed inhabitants floating ceaseless and numberless through Phlegathon's lightless oceans at the black heart of an alien infinity. The mind maze had consumed me and now I knew its nameless rulers. May no other soul hear that eldritch laughter calling from the abyss, and wander as I have to these lightless depths where even hell would not dare to build.